Good afternoon, my name is Alina Shaltsova, I'm an immigration attorney from Brooklyn, New York. In today's video, I would like to share with you uh, the most recent immigration news. And so first of all, I would like to let you know that immigration court hearings for most of the immigration courts once again were postponed or cancelled through and including April 16th, 2021. Now, you need to check with your individual court if you need to appear for your hearing if it's scheduled within the next months or so. It is so because some courts were already reopened and some courts are having uh, individual and master hearings uh, telephonically or in person. However, the judge prefers to handle such a matter. So you need to check with your attorney and your court if you need to appear for a hearing. But for non-detained cases in New York specifically, and for most of the immigration courts in the country, the hearings for non-detained respondents were uh, adjourned or canceled, including April 16, 2021. If you check the system, the 1-800 immigration court system, you may still hear that your case is scheduled for a hearing. Uh, but if this court of yours is not reopened, it means that that hearing will not take place and you will receive a cancellation notice or you will receive a new notice for new hearing thereafter. So just check with your lawyer and your local court if they're reopened or not. It's very, very important. Now, very exciting news. Just recently, uh, we learned that ICE, uh, ICE uh, created something called case review process to make sure or rather to invite respondents to argue that they're not falling into the new ICE enforcement priorities. And those people who are in detention, in custody, or are pending removal, meaning people who are told that now you, you have to depart the United States, a priority. And you guys can now send your requests to ICE, to first uh, local uh, district office, and uh, then you can request that the senior review, uh, review officer is uh, looking at your case. You can argue that you should not be removed because you do not fall into ICE priorities, enforcement priorities that were announced by the new Biden administration. And you may recall that this no new priorities include people who present risk to national security, risk to uh, public safety, and have an aggravated felony uh, conviction. And those who entered the United States uh, recently, in, uh, I believe November 20th, um, on November 1st, uh, 20. 20 just recently this is this information is especially important for those of you who already have orders of deportation and for example you were receiving um order of supervision and you were allowed to come to check in and recently you were told to prepare for departure to your home country so now it's your chance to argue that you should not be removed and why you shouldn't be removed if you do not fall or you believe you do not fall into those priorities. Remember, the conviction uh, of aggravated felony is not, um, is not by itself a ground for removal. It, you also uh, should uh, be or the, the person should also be danger to public safety. So in many, many cases, I believe uh, the person subject to removal will be able to successfully prove that they should not be removed under the new enforcement guidelines. So it's very exciting, very good news. We just received it literally 15 hours ago or so, and I wanted to share it with you. It's also going to be useful to those who have family members or loved ones detained by ICE, because those who are in custody, as I mentioned, are priority. Your guys' cases will be reviewed first. Okay. And finally, one more interesting piece of news is that it's relevant for those who are dealing with minors, unaccompanied minors. For example, you are a custodian to or guardian or sponsor, so-called, to somebody who um, came to the United States without parents 
and were de designated as an unaccompanied minor. Unaccompanied minors in the United States under the immigration laws enjoy certain privileges and leniencies, but the Trump administration wanted to take that away. They stated that even though a child can be designated as an unaccompanied minor at the time of his or her entry to the United States, later ICE can remove this designation. Guess what? Biden administration changed that policy and canceled that policy. Now, if, if a child uh, during the first encounter with ICE, usually at the entry, is designated as an unaccompanied minor, the designation stays. It means a child can enjoy uh, privileges in filing for asylum, for example. Very often, one year deadline does not apply or uh, it has its own um, exceptions to the one year deadline and some other very important benefits. So I hope this uh, little update is uh, helpful to you guys. Uh, please uh, like this video, share, subscribe to my channel and uh, I hope to see you soon.